All right. How do you dribble a basketball? Show me how you dribble the ball. That's, that's, that's better than most. Now, if I attacked you, if I came at you, let's get away from our center so I don't nuke it up here. If I attacked you, what would you do? If I went. So you're going to get defensive. That's not bad. Because here's what most of my guys will do. They'll dribble the ball right here. And the, now, what is your, what is your uh, way of getting away from pressure? What's your change of direction dribble? What's your favorite change of direction dribble? What do you teach as your favorite change of direction dribble? They all like the crossover. I'm not, I'm not a big fan. How many of you guys have guys that are great at their, at their killer cross? Okay, let me show you this. Is there any way, is there any way to cross over without your feet being basically level? Can you cross over with one foot slightly in front of the other? Yeah. Can you? Between the legs. Ah, uh, that's not crossover. That's between the legs. Did he just answer your question right there? You cannot cross over without being squared to your opponent. You understand this? Now think about what I'm telling you here. If I go to cross over in front of this guy, right, I have to be square. If I get to like he did, he can't do that. Now if I've got to protect myself anyway, I've got a quick guy guarding me, right? Go watch the old Magic Johnson days, right? Isaiah, like we talked about. When they dribble, they're going to see through this guy. Watch their eyes, all right? We talk about this a lot. Let's turn so we can see the basket. I've got to be able to see through the guy guarding me. I shouldn't have to worry about the guy guarding me. If you're a good player, you shouldn't worry about the man guarding you. I have to see through him, right, to these other guys. Give me a guy down that block over there. Okay, say you're opposite this place. Guard him. Get over and def defend him. Give me a guy in that corner and a guy guarding him in the corner. Okay? Now, if I'm going to come down the floor and play in any, any dribble drive type situation, right, is going to start out, first of all, you need to have good spacing. All right? Now, we teach all the time, and we'll talk about how the ball handling moves into that in a minute. We teach all the time playing in the alleys. We talk about lane line to lane line, right? Where we want to attack, where we want to attack you, and if we're going to add ball screens to it, it's even more true. You're not going to be, if you can get to this position on the floor right here, if you're any good, you probably should be pulling up and taking a shot. Right? Realistically, you're constantly fighting in whatever you do or put together to get down these lanes. And if he's guarding me, fighting to get away, he's going to battle me and get to where I can attack this next lane line. You understand? Now what that does is this. In every, in every dribble drive, that's what you're doing. In every kind of dribble drive thing that you have. Right? Because if I come downhill, where do I want to be? I want to be able to attack right down here. We talk about attacking elbows and blocks. You understand? Elbows and blocks. Everything we do is designed to get elbows and blocks. That's where we want to be. Defensively, we want to protect elbows and blocks. 